We're just pulling away from the store right now. I had to go get some uh, quick snacks and uh, fill up my tank. Actually, I didn't fill it up. I just got a half a tank. <laughs> Lake's about 15 minutes away, so it is 6:27. I planned on being at the lake by 6 or 6:30, but uh, woke up a little late. As always, uh, I need to get that under wraps because the next tournament is coming up. So, so I'm going to be going back out to Eastman Lake this week. Uh, last week, I ran into an issue where my propel drive, every time I'd uh, put it in reverse, if I wasn't pedaling backwards very softly, very slowly, I couldn't go in reverse. So, um, we took it down, uh, took the drive up to... Lodi yesterday and uh, very thankful to have the great customer service that Dan from and his team from Headwaters kayak shop up in Lodi provide because uh, we took it up there for a uh, repair and uh, with his expertise he was able to find that the drive was not messed up. Dan got me squared away. He, uh, Cleaned up my the inside of my drive, re, re looped it, so pretty much I got a a service. But yeah, Dan and his and his team are just awesome. So I went over to pick up the drive, and turns out um, he was very generous, and he installed a weed guard on my propel unit. Uh, that way, you know, when we go to the delta, we don't have to worry too much about the weeds going, getting stuck in the prop anymore. And he did that for free, which is pretty awesome. You need anything for your kayak, no matter if it's a fishing kayak, you know, uh, just a recreational kayak you want to take out to the ocean or something, or just a lake, it, do it doesn't matter. They have everything there, everything you could possibly need. Enough yapping, let's get back to the fishing. <laughs> Coming from? Bay Area. Oh, Bay Area. All right. How about you? Yeah, I'm about 15 minutes down the road. <laughs> I'm, I'm driving here last night and I'm like, I am out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> There's a little spot offshore out there. I was here last week, but. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking by the inlet right there. 
might be a better spot. Yeah, I think every, I think every tournament, everybody starts at the dam. Yeah, well, that's why I was thinking I'm gonna go down here. Yeah, that's probably where, that's where I'm gonna start. <laughs> That's a baby.
girl's gonna be mad at me. I'm gonna get my ass beat when I get home. I um, I lost track of time. It was a slow day, but um, I had a lot of fun uh, fishing offshore. And you know what? I can honestly say I stuck to it. I stuck to my guns. Uh, the goal for today, even though I said there wasn't a goal, or maybe I did, um, the goal for today was to fish all offshore. And when I say offshore, I'm not just talking like 50 feet of water, like real deep. Ultimately, uh, these fish today, they wanted the drop shot. And I, I caught most of the fish today on a drop shot, but I was dead sick in it. But uh, all in all, it was a pretty cool day. Um, really breezy, really breezy today and it's cold. But it is almost four o'clock and I went over my limit probably <laughs> by like three, two or three hours. So I gotta get my ass home and get my ass beating because my girl's gonna be pissed. Uh, normally when I go I, I'm home by 1 or 2 it's already gonna be 4 <laughs> so let's see what happens we almost fished uh, we almost fished 12 hours we're about it was probably about a 9 or 10 hour session tell you one thing um, if I'm gonna be fishing offshore I'm definitely gonna have to invest in a new spinning setup I've got two of them, but one's a medium. All right, folks. So I'm gonna bow to the fishing gods. I'm about to the fishing gods that I will not fish any shallow water the rest of this winter slash fall. Got that right, folks. Let's see how long it lasts. I'm gonna try and stick to my guns. Uh, you know, it's real hard out there when I'm fishing uh, deep water because that's not my forte. And uh, I, to be quite honest, I don't have the patience for it. And you might say to yourself, "Well, you're out there bass fishing. You need to have patience." Well, yes and no. There's different kinds of patience. Um, there's patience to stick to a certain technique, like I'm gonna do. And then there's also patience to keep chucking and winding, chucking and winding, kind of like uh, Kevin Van Dam. You know, just keep keep at it. There's that patience right there. But uh, you know, my patience that I need to work on is fishing, uh, fishing deep and sticking to it. I want to thank you guys for uh, being patient with me and sitting through this god awful slow video. Like I always say. I'm not out here recording these uh, these sessions to be a YouTuber, you know. I'm not. I don't really consider myself a YouTuber, even though I have a YouTube channel. Um, I'm not dedicated to it like others are. It's just kind of a an archive, like a place that I can keep my uh, my memories of my fishing trips in a video format. And I also uh, have a passion for graphic design and. Uh, videography so videography is one of my passions and this is how I, I uh, exercise my passion you know I record my fi my fishing trips and make some videos of it hope you enjoyed the video we'll see you on the next video